I'm going to show you a quick way to array bolts around uh, a circular object. I'm going to do it with a pipe. So I'm going to bring in a plane here. One for vertex selection, M, merge, etc. Three to look from the side. Extrude up, pull it up, extrude out this way. Select that point. Shift Control B and pull and roll my mouse up till I have five vertices. I'm going to convert this to a curve. And down here under geometry and bevel, I'm going to hold shift and pull. Just be careful that it doesn't overlap like that. All right. So something like this is going to be just fine. And go in, take this point, I'm going to pull it back, and this one. Do something like that. Let's convert this to a mesh and take this piece here E and S and come out E like that E and S will come in like that okay I'm going to take these two edges and bevel them control B pull and roll back to zero and put one segment in there I'm going to go control 2 for two subdivisions and I'll pull an edge loop in here close to the end down there and uh, that's good enough okay so let's take this now and select those faces shift s cursor selected bring the 3d cursor there and set the origin to the 3d cursor and now I can mirror this in the Y so I have two pipes but maybe I don't want to uh, the second one like that. So let's go ahead and apply that mirror and come in here and maybe we'll select that edge here. Just this one. Control plus a few times until I get to there and maybe we'll delete those faces and we'll select that edge and scale it in the Y, S, Y, zero to straighten it just so it's a little bit different. And maybe we'll bring this in a bit. E and S come in and then just drag an edge loop over here and one up there and we'll have that kind of effect all right so what i want to do is i want to put bolts around here okay so my 3d cursor is still pretty much uh, central there so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to bring in a circle and i'll go for like 16 vertices no you know what maybe i'll go for 22 and not put a subdivision on it scale it down let's rotate x90 and look from number one the front pull it up scale it down just push it forward and just keep getting the size of it just keep it along that z axis okay pure key to zoom in on that I'm going to press F to make a face, and with it all selected, extrude it back, and delete that bottom face there. And I'll take this and I'll put a small bevel, like this, with maybe maybe one segment there. And shade smooth, see how that's looking. I'm going to pull that in, and um, I want to put... The hexagonal bolt so I might make this a little bit bigger so I'll select that face and control plus until I get out to about there and I'll pull it out a little bit more okay I'm going to let's let's bring an edge loop down there I don't need that section and then roll my mouse up here maybe four times and control B pull with no segments just space like that E and Alt S and push and pull it out like that now I look a little bit weird um, unless I oh, clipping, unless I put edge loops on here. So I'm just going to select there and Control B. Oh, my mouse up one. Okay, so I have that. Shift S cursor to select it and bring in another circle. I'll make this one six vertices. And we'll make the, the hexagonal bolt. Okay, let's 
let's uh, rotate X90. And scale it down. Press F to make a face. And E to extrude, come back. Let's X faces. Select the whole thing, Alt in. Recalculate outside in case your polys are flipped. Okay. And then with it all selected, go uh, Control B, pull. And on, make sure I got one segment in there and I'll shade smooth. Let me make sure that those are flipped. And I'll pull it in. How does that look? Okay, good. Alright, now let's come in here and. Um, I'm going to select. What I want to do is I want to mirror this across centrally. So I'm just selecting some central stuff. Shift S cursor selected. Move my 3D cursor. So it's right in the middle now. All right. So I'll take, uh, say, uh, let's see. Maybe I'll join those together. And then I'll take this and set the origin of the 3D cursor. And now I can mirror that in the Y. And my bolt goes through. I'm going to select the whole thing. And you can scale it. Okay, so my 3D cursor is central, and that's important to this. Um, and so what we're going to do is we are going to, with that uh, central, I'm going to shift A. Add an empty. I'm just going to leave it there. I'll come back to my bolt. And I think I'll go ahead and apply the mirror. So I'll come back to my bolt and add an array. I'm going to choose maybe eight. And I'm going to put this at zero. And down here under object offset, check that and choose empty. Select the empty. Look from here. And I'm going to rotate in the Y and come around and just do this. I'm looking at this bolt and trying to get it lined up on there, and then it'll be pretty, pretty even. And I've done it. That's what I wanted to do. And the nice thing is I can come back in here and I can scale these if I wanted to. Got both of them selected. I can inset. I can E S Y and pull in. That's reflected on all of the bolts. All right, so that's a quick way to get stuff uh, around uh, a circle and still be able to edit it.